Hey guys, well, uh, with everyone getting ready for spring bear and turkey season, or some of you have already gotten to start, um, I'm just waiting over here. Uh, a lot of places still have snow up here in North Idaho, so it's hard to get, but there's one place that we're going to get to go tomorrow. So I just wanted to do a loadout of what all I'm going to take with me, and then kind of a re review of the uh, XO 1800. I've been using this a lot lately actually, just because I've just been doing day trips and I don't need the full 4800. So, um, this is the lid, actually, this isn't the lid that came with it. EXO was so awesome that they had a little, uh, the sewing machine messed up or something right here. So instead of having to buy one that fit properly, they just sent a new one that fits, so that was awesome. Um, <coughs> this, the 1800 is, I think it is, it is pretty small, but if you pack it right, you can pretty much fit everything you need. So, <coughs> this folds all the way open. My water, my water bladder, water, my water bladder is in here already full of water. Um, they have this little pouch here, uh, keep stuff dry, and you can also stuff stuff inside the water bladder sleeve if you want to keep that dry. So, med kit, that's going to go on the bottom. And then here, This pocket here is a longer pocket for like spotting scope and it comes, there's a lot of material here so it spreads out and it goes inside the bag. But what I've found is if you pack this full and then try to shove your spotting scope in here, it's a little tougher. So I like to put the spotting scope in first. And then, I don't know, there could be snow once we get up there a little ways. It's south facing, but you never know. So I'm just bringing some gators just in case. And the temperatures are going to be between 30 and 45 degrees, but it's supposed to be mostly sunny. So I'm just going to bring my Uncompagre, I don't know how you say it, jacket from First Light, um, just for sitting up on the ridge glassing and stuff. And then on this side, there's another pocket here, but it only goes down to about there. The other side goes all the way down. And over here, I'm going to put my fire starter kit. Wipes and TP. I'm going to stick my merino bean right up here. And then I like 
like to shove my gloves right here in the side pocket just because it's nice to have them handy for hiking. You can take them on and off. And then headlamp. We're not planning to go in the dark, but never forget it. And that's going to go in this little pocket. Waterproof pocket here. And it's not seasoned yet, but I do have a wolf tag and a cougar tag still. I just keep them all together. Stick that in the waterproof. because usually that's one of the first things I gotta pull out. Set that up. Ah. Then water filter and extra bladder. Just in case and to get water maybe to haul up for uh, cooking. don't come with the pack, but they're super handy. Um, they just advise not loading them real heavy. And I'm going to put my lighter, sharpener, pocket knife, some tape. And then this is an old iPhone um, that I took everything off of except pretty much Onyx. And then I just downloaded a ton of offline maps. So <clears throat> I can bring a charger and charge my other phone. But there's like almost 30 gigs, I think, of maps on here. So it's just nice to have this because my other phone couldn't even hold that. So that'll go in there like that. Water. Oh. Stick this in that little pouch, waterproof pouch. Stay there. And then I always take a Glock 10 millimeter um, when I'm out where there's bears. And then for food. Shove that in the lid. Got a food bag, meal. And that's it. And actually, I have more room in here. So if I want to, this pocket feel, felt a little tight to me. So I might take out the fire starting kit over there and stick that in here since there's extra room and then with the 1800 you got to buy these extra straps here so you can use the lid
tripod is holding the camera, but this is where my tripod would go. I like to stick two legs in, one leg out, and then it will just run up along the side here and buckle on. And that's where my tripod goes. Just like that, not too heavy. It's about 20 pounds, I think, according to Excel. Uh, maybe 25 pounds. And there you go, spring wearer scouting. <clears throat> if you have any questions, um, feel free to comment and uh, I'll answer them as best I can. Alright, thanks for watching.